and it wants me to talk about, you know, what, uh, where to start as a new agent. I don't know where to start. And Megan's like, well, why don't you make the conversation about that? I was like, yeah, let me just ask Heather. <laughs> <laughs> like, Heather. <laughs> Most realtors, they start, you know, especially if they're successful, sell 50, 60, 70 houses a year. And, you know, you don't really have, if you don't have the proper systems in place to keep in touch with everybody, um, you'll, you'll have this database that you haven't touched base with. And, um, I wish it was something that was taught early on, almost like, you know, this is your buyer consult, sell them a house, you know, this is the next thing. If you don't have the proper systems in place to keep in touch with everybody, you'll have this database that you haven't touched base with. And um, I wish it was something that was taught early on. They teach you things like putting them on a drip campaign of like emails that send them and then your, um, your like KB core, whatever CRM you're using will send you tasks to call them like once a month or once every three months or around the holiday seasons, anniversaries, birthdays, something like that. And it's a great, you know, way of, um, uh, kind of, I guess, what am I thinking of? Uh, 40. Um, <laughs> We say hi. Okay, is that what we're going to do? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cassie and I Heather. Up. Please do it again. <laughs> I lick my lips a lot. Sometimes I should have put chapstick on, but do it again. My okay. bad, my bad. I will not mess it up this time. Okay. Welcome to Morning Chat with Cassie and Heather to make Heather's videos more fun and exciting because Cassie will not watch them. So I figure if I put her in the videos, then she'll start <laughs> watching them. <laughs> So today we're going to be talking about what to do when you get your real estate license, how to get started, because I asked Cassie this morning, what are you going to do now that you've taken all this education, you're ready to get started? She said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but first, let's catch up on the week. So yesterday we had a really cool um, event. RE Bar Camp. Yeah. Don't call it Rebar. Rebar. <laughs> I call it Rebar. It is awesome. We went to it last year and last year was the first time, right? I think so. When Heather mentioned it was coming up and I saw that it was coming up, we went ahead and bought our tickets. All the, almost the whole team went, but, and, but there was like, I had, I think 800 people there. But what it is, they had a keynote speaker, which he was amazing, Phil M. I don't remember his last name, of course. <laughs> I got the book. Him. <laughs> yeah. Um, spoke on what, you know, what to say, how to say it um, in a uh, what? sales professional format. What you're trying to get, I guess the information you're trying to get. Yeah. And not make it about you. Yeah. And make it about them. Yeah. What else happened? I just did a crap ton of laundry. Every time I do like a lot of laundry, I try to get rid of stuff, you know, like whatever. Yes. But I'm like highly allergic to dust. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so then right. I had to snort water to <laughs> stop <Snort> sneezing. Water. <laughs> my nose is still messed up. I didn't snort enough. My <laughs> lips. <laughs> my lips are, you snort, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> There really wasn't that, oh, we had a hurricane, but we didn't have one. South Florida had one. We didn't, we got a little windy. Like one of my yeah. chairs slightly moved on my back porch, but that was yeah. about it. Okay, so let's start. Cassie, you got your real estate license. You have a bunch of education now. How do you Dude. plan on getting started? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, continue my education. I obviously, I just started with EXP Realty on the Relax team. And so I'm still going through some of my excuse me, education with that because I had to do the, the education to get started with eCar. I had to take two classes there. EXP, I have like the part of the mentor program where I got to take, I think, 10 classes there. I'm being inundated with a lot of classes right now, yep. but <clears throat> so that's my plan right now. I told Heather, like, give me a month just to get all this knowledge uh, that is required underneath my belt and then can obviously still continue knowledge, still continue taking classes and stuff like that, but at least let me get the, the big mm -hmm. weight of it done. And then after that, you know, I really don't know. Like <laughs> I talked to Heather about database because I'm not, I have not been in Florida very really long and I um, don't really have a lot of database of people down here. And um, so I really don't know where to start. And so that's one of the things I saw on a video or a lesson I was learning is that if you don't have a database, but someone else does that, is willing to let you mine theirs, then that could be a way to start. Well, of course, since I mm -hmm. work with her, I was like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> or well, you say database, but. Yeah, and that's database. that's what happens when most realtors, they start, you know, especially if they're successful, sell 50, 60, 70 houses a year. And, you know, you don't really have, if you don't have the proper systems in place to keep in touch with everybody, um, you'll, you'll have this database that you haven't touched base with. And, um, I wish it was something that was taught early on, almost like, you know, this is your buyer consult, sell them a house, you know, this is the next thing. 
They teach you things like putting them on a drip campaign of like emails that send them and then your um, your like KB Core, whatever CRM you're using will send you tasks to call them like once a month or once every three months. A great way to organize yourself. So say for instance, ideally, and, and very little realtors, amount of realtors do this, right? Get up in the morning, you would plan your day, you would have a time block to call new leads and a time block to follow up with leads. And during that follow up, you're following up with ones you probably called yesterday or maybe last week, but you're also following up with the ones that you sold property to. Right. And so if you had a good CRM, it would drop them in. And if you had a good time management or self-management, then you would be able to like follow it and call yeah. those people back. It's just not normal. It's not the norm. It doesn't happen a lot that way. So there's kind of a lot of backtracking. But that's kind of the area I want to go into. Mm -hmm. I want to do more of that relationship management and start with, you know, your people and, um, do a lot of stuff again that I've learned in the ninja selling mm -hmm. book, but not only in that book, it's, it was reiterated in the class that we took yesterday or in the Ari bar camp. Um, the speaker was talking about the same thing. I think the people don't do it <clears throat> because it's so simple. I mean, you just have to sit down and make phone calls and people don't want to make phone calls or right. they feel like they're going to bother somebody or they're, you know, talking themselves out of it. You know, oh, I don't want to bother them. They're going to think that I'm trying to sell them something or they don't want to hear from me. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one that's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get stuck on the phone for 30 minutes. You know, I have so many things to do. If I make these phone calls, I'm going to be on the phone. And there's even techniques to, you know, get off the phone. Quick. Right, right. Hey, I know it's the middle of the work day. I don't want to bother you. I just had, you know, a quick second wanted to... Um, touch base and see how things were going with the house. If, if you needed anything from me, um, you know, is more of the, the quicker version, but it, that's not, still not as much, that's touching. That's not as much of relationship building, right. the things that you have been learning. But it still keeps your name in the forefront. It does. Because that's the other thing they talk about is just keeping your name in the flow, keeping, if you look back, if you bought or sold a house in the past, can you right now name the name of your realtor? Don't say real realtor. I know, don't say real Georgia. Realtor. Realtor. <laughs> cut this. I'm about to cuss. But just <laughs> Folding it back. Um, but they say if you go back and see whoever you bought your house from, do you remember their name? Why keep trying to get new clients when you already have a good basis of clients? Just keeping your name out there, keeping your name in their thoughts, in their mm -hmm. head, you know. And the other thing they talked about too is just consistency. So if you start a mailer program, or if you start mm -hmm. farming, uh, if you any kind of thing where you're sending out letters, notes, emails, whatever it is to get your name out in front of these, uh, in front of your past clients, don't start it and mm -hmm. then drop it. You know, if you're going to have a schedule, have that schedule and stick to it. And yeah. that's the best way to do it. And again, like you said, it's so simple and simple. easy. I, I, I think about it, I'm eight years in the business now and I'm like always kicking myself for you know, wanting to to do these simple things. Crazy because I enjoy that. I, I've sold houses to so many people that I enjoy and your time just gets so far from you, you yeah. know, if you don't, if you don't schedule, if you don't put it in your calendar. You're getting sun in your eyes now. I was waiting, but she was on such a flow. So I was gonna wait, I was gonna wait till her flow stop, but her flow has not stopped. You have great advice, but I can't remember half of it <laughs> after the first word that you say. And then I have to like what write down. <laughs> yeah, I like write down five words of the 50 she said. I'm like, oh, such good information while I'm blinded by the light. Hey. Hold it up. <laughs> it's so dainty. Don't be dainty about it. <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video. It really does help our channel. I wish you had a bell because when you said that, I could lift it up. She does it. Ding. Yeah, she'll do it. No, no, I like want to do it though, um. like in real life. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, what What's a good schedule? So I would say one hour of new calls, but in the beginning, yours is all going to be new, right? Yeah. And then you're going to scrunch that down to split it. An hour of new calls, two hours of follow-up calls because the gold is in the follow-up. And yeah. you're, you're going to follow up with somebody six to 12 mm -hmm. times before they say yes to some kind of business or some kind of referral. So whatever that looks like for you, some people say make 20 calls a day. Some people say they make a hundred dials a day. Um, I did mine split up. I made five calls a day, five Facebook messages a day, five text messages a day. And then I did five comments on 
people's posts a day. You want to hit them from all in. So you want to be in their life on social media by messaging them there. And to me, 20, 25 calls or 20, 25 actions with that a day takes less than three hours. And that's how I started my business. On top of that, everyone is interested in social media and how do you brand yourself? So I would say that would be the next piece of your business. Um, you know, we talk about on branding on our side, you need a headshot. Um, you, I would say a couple of different poses. You need a Canva account and you should at least be putting something branded out there three days a week. So you want those pages um, and you wanna post on them um, every single day with at least three days of branding material. Your face on something that has your contact information. Um, and then of course you need to be posting your life. If you're not a social media person, become one. Yeah. <laughs> and you, yeah, really, I mean, unless you already have this area that you sell in, or, you know, you already have the database that you are going to get referrals from. And then of course, create your schedule. So you are consistent with that. So if you use a source like Loomly, like we do, you could do that and prepare that on one day a week to prepare all your posts Saturday or Sunday right. and have them for the week. So you're not, you know, doing it every day. Right. So those two things, those two actions every day. I, I think you'd have business within two weeks, if not week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah. Like, will you, will you really do your best? Probably not. <laughs> I just need to do it. I need to get started. But again, it's a lot. Even yeah. everything I just said was is a lot. Well, I know that's why I was talking about my education. I want to get yeah. all that stuff knocked out first. You don't make any phone calls between now and then? No, but I can. Do you? I mean, you want to try? Five? Yeah, sure. Ten? Sure. How many? Fifteen? No. <laughs> okay. That's an uncomfortable But I number. should say yes. No, it's okay. Five I is want, an uncomfortable I want you number. To what put, are you talking yeah, about? <laughs> I want you to say whatever you're going to do. Between now and next week, let's, let's start with five okay. first. I do, just for y'all know, I work a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And, uh for heather and uh i also have the education i gotta get caught up on with a really cool boss that would let you make phone calls Hell while you're yeah. on so five by yeah. next friday for you guys by next wednesday cassie will have made five phone calls created scripts and we'll be talking about it thank you so much for watching for more videos like this check out my channel see you next time oh, gotta do it again do it. Oh. <laughs> Damn. do it again no that was good it'll be funny <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>